Go. Welcome to the Passion of the Digital Artist 16. We're back. So after a little bit of time off for the last couple of weeks, uh, me and Xavier went, uh, we went to Wisconsin, back to where I lived most of my life. And it was my 25th wedding anniversary, and it was we had a huge party. And Xavier would like to say something about that. I'm sure I had a better party or a better time somewhere at some point in time, but right offhand, I don't remember when, Jeff. That was a great party, getting together with you and Rachel up there in Cedarburg, yep. Wisconsin. Beautiful area, very small, quaint town just north of Milwaukee and and also another town right near it called Grafton just had a great time uh, they have a lot of cool friends and cool scenery beautiful weather excellent party excellent food and excellent drink and it was just a great time and a thrill to be part of their 25th anniversary celebration yeah I think we turned about 25 people on to absinthe <laughs> we did drink just a little bit of absinthe, that's correct. <laughs> Anyways, well, what I'd like to start with today is to talk about signing paintings. When you've painted, when you've gone through a process and you've finished your painting, it becomes time to sign it, to put your mark on it. Now, signing for an artist is unique. It's a little bit different because of the fact that you've created this masterpiece and you're really happy with it, there's a certain amount of pressure that's involved with that and I'd like to talk about that because your signature and that's something that I've been working on my whole life but in the probably the past six months I have worked on trying to get my signature to the point where I, I'm happy with it. Now I've worked on that a couple, you know, I, I've worked on signing and I'm happy happy with where it's at but it's not consistent yet and I decided because of the fact that painting a signature is almost impossible I'm using a gold a gold pen and I really have gotten it down and I'm pretty happy with the signature so you'll be able I'm actually going to be signing as I'm talking right now you'll be able to see it and you'll get to see a live signing of underwater adventure now that brings us now to the social media hero of the week, Heidi Bjork. Now, she really, really gets me excited as far as what she's doing and how she's doing it because she is what I believe the future of art and I think even a little one step further because she's using the internet, a website and Twitter to promote her artwork and make and brand a name for she herself. She does black and white watercolors. They're beautiful. There's a lot of different, um, th some of them are very raw and full of energy and other ones are more fine-tuned and eloquent, but no matter what, you just feel her passion for art in her artwork. They sort of, they kind of like mesmerize you and take you away to some other place. It's really fascinating artwork and it's all black and white, which is what's truly amazing about it. Yes, they're, they're beautiful, but she's using her website, she's selling t she wrote an ebook, The Art of Marketing Art Online, or on Twitter, and that book's available through her website. I strongly suggest that any artist that sees this to go and purchase her ebook because it's well worth it. I'm pretty fluent on Twitter, but some of the the techniques and, and some of the, the hints and some of the uh, ways that she marketed herself on Twitter to get herself searched on the internet are very, very, very good ideas and suggestions. So I recommend it highly. So I'm just, the, the reason why she's my social media hero is that she's just, just everything about it. She's using the internet and she's not using the, the old ways of marketing she's just pretty much straightforward the new artist and, and and it's becoming successful for her she's got a lot of followers uh, you could see that her artwork is out there ready for purchase and what she's doing is what you have to do to be an artist today now I like to take it one step further and just by going that one step further I believe that you also can use the 
the old means of marketing. If you use every aspect available to you, that's the way that I'm choosing to go. But that's not the way everybody has to go. Whatever works for you, but it still is good to see that people who normally wouldn't have been able to, you, you know, be able to market themselves to the world, now it's available to them. So, once again, it's been great. We will see you next week and take us away, Xavier. Have a good week, folks. Thank you.